to another developing story out of Baytown, where a man has been charged with shooting and killing his estranged wife. The violent attack happened last night at the wife's home near Highway 146 and Kentucky Street. Police say they had just arrived at the home as El Rey Gonzalez opened fire on his wife Elva before police returned fire. Channel 2's Kathy Hernandez has the latest. That brother says Elroy Gonzalez was paranoid and on edge the last few days, believing that his wife had cheated on him. He never expected any of this to happen when police say Elroy shot and killed his wife and then police returned fire. You know, he didn't have to go down this path. His brother is El Rey Gonzalez, the man accused of killing his estranged wife, Elva Gonzalez. She was a godsend for my brother. Police say one of Elva's children called 911 about an armed intruder inside their home on Mississippi Sunday and asked police to hurry. When officers arrived, they say El Rey chased Elva outside of the home and shot her multiple times, killing her. Police say officers then shot El Rey, grazing him. I just heard gunshots and stuff. And just seeing her on the floor and her kids running outside and the cop being here and it just was just went crazy. Her two children, a 16 year old girl and 21 year old man were not hurt. Dennis Gonzalez says El Rey and Elva were married less than a year ago. El Rey moved out and believes she was cheating on him. It's just not the type of woman she is. It's not in her character to do things like that. You know, she loved him. She really, really, truly loved uh, my brother. Dennis says he even helped Elva change the locks on her door on Saturday. The same day she called police asking for a restraining order. She was concerned about him because he he was making threats and and posting stuff on Facebook. Despite the problems, Dennis says their families never imagined it would end in this way. And we got to live with this for the rest of our life. Those two children were inside this home and not hurt. Now they're staying with relatives. Elroy has a long criminal history. In 2005, he pled guilty to sexual assault of a child and a judge sentenced him to five years in prison. He's a registered sex offender now facing a possible murder charge. Reporting in Baytown, Kathy Hernandez, KPRC, Channel 2 News.